El Anam, the cattle. With the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. All type of perfect and true praise belongs to Allah, who created the heavens and the earth, and brought into being all kinds of darkness and the light. Yet in spite of this, those who disbelieve ascribe equals to their Lord. It is He who created you from clay. Then He determined a term of this life, and there is yet another term of the life of the hereafter, stated with Him. Still you dispute, being doubtful about the resurrection. And He is Allah who alone exercises every authority in the heavens and in the earth. He knows you inside and outside, and He knows what you accomplish by way of your deeds, good or bad. And as for the people, there comes to them no message of the messages of their Lord, but they turn away from it. So they have already cried lies to this perfect truth when it came to them, but soon there shall come to them the news of the fulfillment of the prophecies that they have been taking very lightly. Have these people not considered how many generations we destroyed before them, to whom we had given so firm a hold and power on the earth, such a firm hold as we have not given you? And we sent clouds over them, pouring down abundant rain, and we caused rivers to flow, subject to their command and control. Yet we destroyed them, owing to their sins, and raised other generations after them. And if we had sent down to you a book written on parchment, and they had touched it with their own hands, even then those who have disbelieved would have invariably said, This is nothing but a fascinating device to cut off from the people. And they said, If the prophet is true and sincere in his claim, why has not an angel been sent down to him? But if we had sent down an angel, the matter would have been decided. Then they would not have been respited. And had we appointed him from among the angels, we would surely have made him appear as a man, and even in that case we would have obscured that which they are themselves obscuring now. O Muhammad, certainly messengers have been treated scornfully before you, but that prophecy of the ultimate success of the messenger which they held in scorn, recoiled on them who had held the prophecy in scorn. Say, go about in the land and see how evil was the end of those who treated the prophets as liars. Ask them, to whom belongs all that lies in the heavens and in the earth? Then, since they will not be able to answer, say, it belongs to Allah. He has taken upon himself the rule of mercy so he does not take these sinners to task immediately. He will continue to assemble you together till the day of resurrection. There is no doubt in it, yet those who have lost their souls will not believe. To him belongs whatever exists in the darkness of the night and whatever dwells in the light of the day, and he is the all-hearing, the all-knowing. Say, Shall I take to myself a patron other than Allah, the originator of the heavens and the earth? It is he who feeds but is fed by none. Say, I have surely been commanded that I be the first of those who submit to God. It has been said to them, Be not of those who associate partners with Allah. Say, If I disobey my Lord, I fear the punishment of the dreadful day. He from whomsoever this punishment is averted on that day, God indeed has mercy on him, and obvious achievement is that. If Allah afflicts you with some harm, then no one can remove it but he. But if he bestows upon you a favor, remember that he is the possessor of every power to do all that he will. And he is the all-dominant over his servants, and he is the all-wise, the all-aware. Ask, who is the best witness in respect of bearing testimony? Say, it is Allah. He is witness between me and you, 
and this Quran has been revealed to me so that I may thereby warn you and all those whom it may reach against the evil consequences of disbelief and misdeeds. What do you say? Do you in fact bear witness that there are other gods besides Allah? Say, I do not bear witness thereto. Say, moreover, the fact is that he is the one and only God, and surely I am sick and quit of those whom you associate with him. Those whom we have given this perfect book recognize him as they recognize their own sons. Yet those who have lost their souls will not believe. Who is more unjust than he who forges a lie in the name of Allah, or who cries lies to his messages? Verily such wrongdoers will never attain the goal. Beware of the day when we shall gather them all together. Then we shall say to those who associate partners with us, Where are now your associate gods about whom you used to assert as gods? On that day they would have no excuse but that they would say, By Allah, our Lord, we were never polytheists. Look how they lie against themselves, and those associate gods which they used to forge shall fail them. Some of these disbelievers pretend to listen to you, but we have put veils over their hearts due to their own hard-heartedness that they do not understand, and there is heaviness in their ears to listen to the truth. Even if they see every sign of ours, they would not believe therein. Their hard-heartedness has reached such an extent that when they come to you, they dispute with you. Those who disbelieve say, This Qur'an is nothing but fables of the ancients. They deter others from believing in this Qur'an, and themselves, too, keep away from it. Yet it is their own ruin that they bring about by such things, only they do not perceive. Could you but see them when they are made to stand before the fire? They will say then, Oh, would that we could be sent back to have a chance to mend our ways. Then we would not cry lies to the revelations of our Lord and would be of the believers. Nay, it is only that this, which they had been hiding before, must have now become obvious to them. Yet even though if they were sent back, they would again return to that which they were prohibited from. They are most certainly liars. And they say, There is no life beyond this our present life, and we shall never be raised again. And could you but see when they are made to stand before their Lord? He will say, Is not this resurrection true? They shall say, Yes, indeed, by our Lord it is. He will say, Suffer then the punishment as a result of your disbelief. Those who cried lies to the news of meeting Allah have indeed suffered a loss until the hour of resurrection overtakes them unaware. They will then say, Woe to us for our neglecting it, and they shall be bearing the burdens of their sins on their backs. Behold, how evil is the burden that they shall bear. The life of this world is naught but a futile and frivolous thing causing diversion from God. And certainly the last abode is the best for those who guard against evil. Have you no sense? We know full well that what they say by way of denying our messages grieves you, yet surely it is not you that they cry lies to, but it is the messages of Allah that these wrongdoers are deliberately rejecting. Indeed, Messengers have already been cried lies to even before you, but they patiently persevered in spite of their having been rejected and persecuted till our help came to them. None can alter the decrees of Allah. There has already come to you some of the news of the messengers gone before. If their turning away in aversion is hard on you to bear, then you may, if you can, seek a tunnel into the earth, or a ladder into the heaven, and then bring them some sign to bring all to guidance. But if Allah had willed, 
he could surely have brought them all together by force to the guidance. So do not be of those who lack knowledge. Only those who listen respond to the truth, and as for the spiritually dead, Allah will raise them to life after their being buried in graves. They shall then be made to return to him. And they say, why has not a sign been revealed to him by his Lord? Say, Surely Allah has power and is a praiser as to how and when to send down a sign. But most of them know it not. There is no terrestrial creature that crawls in the earth, nor a bird that flies in the air with its two wings, but they are creatures like you, all subject to the divine laws. We have neglected nothing in our this perfect book of law. Then to their Lord shall they all be gathered. And those who cry lies to our signs are deaf and dumb, groping in utter darkness. Allah allows to perish whom he will, and whom he will he sets on the right and exact path. Say, do you ever consider if the punishment of Allah comes upon you, or the promised hour overtakes you, will you then call upon any god other than Allah if what you say be true? Nay, but you will call upon him alone, then he will, if he please, relieve you of that distress for the removal of which you called upon him, and you will abandon those false gods which you associate with him. We have already sent messengers towards the communities before you. Then on their rejecting the messengers, we afflicted them with destitution, calamities, and adversities, so that they might become humble before us. Why did they not then, when our punishment overtook them, grow humble? It was for the fact that their hearts had hardened, and Satan had made their deeds seem fair to them. Then, when they abandoned that whereof they had been reminded, we opened to them the gates of everything. Until when they began to boast over what they were given, we seized them unawares. Then behold, they were in sore despair of all good. In this way, the last remnants of these people who had acted wrongfully were completely rooted out. So it proved that all perfect and true praise belongs to Allah, the Lord of all the worlds. Say, have you ever considered if Allah were to take away your hearing and your sight and set a seal upon your hearts, what God other than Allah can restore these boons to you? See how we expound multiple arguments in diverse ways, yet they turn away thereafter. Say, did you ever consider if Allah's punishment were to overtake you unaware, or after manifest warnings, would any be destroyed except the wrongdoing people? And we send not the messengers but as bearers of good tidings, and as warners, then whosoever believes and mends his ways, will have no cause of fear, nor shall they grieve. But those who cry lies to our messages shall be punished because of their disobedience. Say, I do not say to you that with me are the treasures of Allah, nor do I know the unseen, and I do not say to you that I am an angel. I indeed follow only what is revealed to me. Say, can a blind person and one gifted with sight be alike? Will you not even then give thought? So warned by means of this Qur'an, those who fear that they shall be gathered to their Lord, besides whom they have neither a protector nor an intercessor, so warn them that they may guard against evil. And do not drive away those who call upon their Lord morning and evening seeking his pleasure. No responsibility lies on you on their account, and no responsibility whatsoever lies on them on your account, that you should drive them away. In case you do it, you would be counted as the unjust. In this way have we made a distinction in some of them from the other, with the result that they say, Are these the ones whom Allah has favored by choosing them from among us? Does not Allah know best the grateful? When those who believe in our messages come to you, say,
peace be upon you. Your Lord has taken upon himself the rule of mercy, so that whoso from among you commits evil through lack of knowledge, then turns from mercy towards his Lord thereafter, and mends his ways. Then his Lord forgives him, because he is great protector, ever merciful. That is how we expound our arguments, that you may seek Allah's mercy, and that the ways of those who cut their ties with God may be exposed. Say, I am strictly forbidden to worship those false gods whom you call upon besides Allah. Say, I do not follow your caprices. In that case I would have certainly become lost, and I would not have been of the guided ones. Say, Surely I take my stand upon clear guidance from my Lord, while you have tried lies to it. I have no power over that punishment which you seek to hasten before its fixed time. The judgment rests with none but Allah. He declares the true judgment, and He is the best of deciders as to whom, when, and how to punish. Say, If I had power over that which you seek to hasten before its appointed time, the matter would have been decided between you and me. And Allah knows best the unjust, and He also knows when to punish them. All the treasures of the unseen lie at His disposal. No one knows them but He. He knows whatsoever is in the land and in the sea. There falls not a single leaf but He knows it, nor is there a grain in the dark beds of the earth, nor anything fresh or dry, but all is recorded in a clear book. It is he who takes your soul by night, and he knows what you have done by day. Yet he raises you up therein, that the term stated for your life may be completed. Then to him is your return. Then he will inform you plainly about your deeds. And he is the all-dominant over his servants, and he goes on sending guardians to watch over you. When death comes to one of you, our messengers, the angels, take away his soul. They neglect their duty in no way. Then they shall all be made to return to Allah, their master and only true one. Surely his is the judgment. He is the swiftest of the reckoners. Say, who delivers you from the horrors of the land and the sea, when you call upon him in humility and in open supplication, saying, if he delivers us from this hardship, we shall ever be grateful to him. Say, it is Allah who delivers you from these horrors and from every calamity. Still you associate partners with him. Say, he has power to send upon you a calamity from above and from beneath your feet, or he may throw you into confusion by making you confront with conflicting parties and make you taste the dissension and violence of one another. Behold, how we explain our messages in different ways so that they may give thought. Your people have tried lies to this Qur'an, though it is the truth. Say, I am not responsible for your affairs. For the fulfillment of every prophecy there is an appointed time, and it will not go beyond that, and soon you will come to know its truth. And when you see those who engage in vain discourse about our messages, turn away from them until they engage in a topic other than that. And if Satan should make you forget this advice, then sit no more after its recollection with such wrongdoers. Those who guard against evil are not in the least accountable for these evildoers. They are only to admonish them so that they may too be guarded against evil. And leave alone those who take their religion as a futile and frivolous thing, causing diversion from Allah. Present life has beguiled them. Therefore go on admonishing such people by means of this Qur'an, lest a soul should be consigned to perdition because of its misdeeds. There is no patron for it, apart from Allah, nor intercessor, and even if it may offer every compensation, it will not be accepted from it. It is these who are destroyed for what they accomplished. There awaits them a drink of boiling water and a grievous punishment because they've disbelieved. Say, shall we call besides Allah upon that which can neither profit us nor harm us by itself? 
and shall we be turned back on our heels and led astray after Allah has guided us? Like one whom the evil ones have made to follow his caprices, leaving him utterly bewildered in the land, whilst he has companions who call him to the guidance of Allah, saying, Come to us. Say, Verily, Allah's guidance is the only perfect guidance, and we are commanded by him to submit to the Lord of all the worlds. And we are also commanded by him, Observe prayer, and take him as a shield, and it is he to whom you shall all be gathered. It is he who has created the heavens and the earth to suit the requirements of truth and wisdom. The day he says be, it shall come to be. His word is bound to be carried out. To him belongs the sovereignty on the day when the trumpet shall be blown. He is the knower of all the hidden realities and the seen. And he is the all-wise, all-aware. Recall the time when Abraham said to his sire Azar, Do you worship idols as gods? Surely I see you and your people steeped in clear error. Thus, for his pure and noble nature, we have been showing Abraham the sole kingdom of ours, of the heavens and the earth, to grant him an insight into the divine laws of nature. And we did it that he might be of those who are firmly convinced. Then, after being convinced of our unity once on the occasion of a debate on the topic, when the night darkened over him, he saw a planet. He said, on seeing it to the idol worshippers, Is this my Lord, as you assert? But when it set, he said, I do not love the setting ones to accept as my God. Then when he saw the moon rise with spreading light, he said to the people, Is this, my lord, as you assert? But when it set, he said, Had my lord not guided me aright, I would have invariably been of the people who have gone astray. And when he saw the sun rise with spreading light, he said to them, Is this, my lord, as you assert, as this is the biggest? But when it also set, he said, O oh, my people, I am surely sick of that which you associate with him. Surely I have turned myself with devotion and in a most upright manner to him who originated the heavens and the earth. I have never been of the polytheists. His people tried to overpower him in argument. He said, Do you argue with me regarding Allah? when he himself has already guided me aright, and I fear not in any way the things you worship besides him, unless it is my Lord who wills some harm to me. It is a different thing. My Lord comprehends all things in his knowledge. Will you not even then take admonition? How and why should I fear the things that you associate with him, while you are not afraid that you have associated those things with Allah, for the worship of which he has given you no authority. Which of the two parties then of the monotheist and the polytheist is better entitled to security and salvation if you truly know? It is only those who believe and have not polluted their faith with associating partners with Allah to whom belongs peace and salvation. It is these alone who are rightly guided. That was our argument with which we equipped Abraham against his people. We raise in degrees of rank whom we will. Verily your Lord is all-wise, all-knowing. And we granted him Isaac and Jacob. Each one we guided aright. And Noah did we guide before. And of his descendants we guided David, Solomon, Job, Joseph, Moses and Aaron. In this way do we reward the performers of good to others. And we guided Zachariah, John, Jesus, and Elias. Every one of them was of the righteous. And we also guided Ismail and Elisha, and Jonah and Lot. And every one did we exalt above their people. And we exalted men from among their fathers and their descendants 
and their brethren. We chose them, and we guided them along the exact right path. That is the guidance of Allah. He guides by it such of his servants as he will. But if they had associated partners, surely all their deeds would have gone in vain. It is these messengers to whom we gave the scripture, the decisive authority and the prophethood. But if these, the so-called preservers of the book, reject these blissful things, the book, the authority and the prophecy, it matters little. For we have now entrusted them to a people who are not at all ungrateful for these blessings. It is these whom Allah has guided, so follow their guidance. Say, I ask you no reward for bringing this guidance. This is naught but a reminder for all the worlds. They, the deniers, have not appreciated Allah with the true honor due to him when they said, Allah has not revealed anything to any human being. Say, who had revealed the scripture which Moses brought? a light and guidance for the people. Though you render it as scraps of paper, some of which you show while the major portion you hide. Whereas you have been taught through that which you did not know, neither you nor your forefathers. Say, Allah revealed it. Then leave them amusing themselves in their vain discourse. And similar to the Torah is this splendid book which we have revealed full of blessings, completing in a comprehensive form all the divine messages which were sent before it, and is revealed that you may warn the people of this center of cities, the Meccans, and the people of the places all around it, the people of the whole world. And those who believe in the hereafter believe also in this Quran, and that they are most careful about performing their prayer. Who is more unjust than the person who fabricates a lie in the name of Allah, deliberately, or says, a revelation has been sent to me, while nothing has been revealed to him? And the person who says, I will also bring down the like of what Allah has sent down. <laughs> Could you but see the wrongdoers when they are in the agonies of death, and when the angels would lay down their hands on them, saying, Give up your souls. This day you shall be given a disgraceful punishment on account of that falsehood which you uttered regarding Allah wrongfully and because you disdained his revelations. God will say on that day, How is it that you have come to us all alone as we created you in the first instance and you have left that which we put in your charge in the world behind yourselves? And we do not see with you your intercessors whom you falsely asserted that they were our partisans in the disposal of matters relating to you. Indeed, the ties between you and your false deities are now cut off, and the things you falsely asserted to be gods have failed you. Verily, it is Allah who splits the seed grains and fruit stones. He brings forth the living out of the lifeless, and he brings forth the lifeless out of the living. Such is Allah. Wherefore then are you turned back? He is the cleaver of the daybreak, and he has made the night for rest, and the sun and the moon for reckoning of time. That is the decree of the Almighty, the All-Knowing. It is he who has made the stars for you, that you may follow the right course with their help in the darkness of the land and the sea. We have certainly explained our commandments in detail for a people who would know. It is he who has evolved you from one living entity. Then he provided for you a permanent abode, from the grave to the final abode of bliss, and a temporary lodging from the loins of the father to the grave. Verily, we have explained our signs in detail for a people who would understand. It is we who pour down water from the clouds, and then we bring forth every kind of vegetation. Then we bring forth therefrom green foliage, from which we produce clustered grain. And we bring forth from the date palm, out of its spathes, 
bunches of dates hanging low. And we bring forth gardens of vines and olives and pomegranate, similar in kind yet dissimilar from one another in variety. Look at them when they bear fruit, and look also how they ripen. Verily in all this there are signs for a people who would believe. Yet they ascribe to Allah as his associates the jinns, although he has created them also. And they falsely ascribe to him sons and daughters without any knowledge. Glory be to him, and he is far beyond and above all the things that they attribute to him. He is wonderful and primary originator of the heavens and the earth. How and whence can there be a son for him, when he has no consort? He has created all things and he has perfect knowledge of everything. Such is Allah, your Lord. There is no other, cannot be, and will never be one worthy of worship but he, the creator of all things. Therefore worship him, for he is the disposer of all affairs. The physical vision comprehends him not, but he comprehends all visions. He is the all-subtle being, incomprehensible and imperceptible, the all-aware. Say, there has already come to you enlightenment and clear proofs from your Lord. Then whosoever sees clearly and is enlightened, it is for his own good. And whosoever chooses to remain blind, it is to his own loss. I am not a guardian over you. Thus do we explain our revelations in diverse ways, that they, the disbelievers, will say to the prophet, You have learnt well and diligently from previous scripture, but we vary the revelations that it may be a clear explanation from us to the people who have knowledge. Follow what has been revealed to you from your Lord. There is no other, cannot be, and will never be one worthy of worship but he and turn away from the polytheist. If Allah had enforced his will, they would not have associated partners with him. And we have not made you a guardian over them, nor are you a disposer of their affairs. Do not revile those whom they call upon besides Allah, lest they should revile Allah transgressingly and through lack of knowledge. Just as we made their deeds fair-seeming to them, so have we made to each people fair-seeming what they do. Then to their Lord is their return, so he will inform them as to what they have been doing. And they swear by Allah their most solemn oaths, that if there comes to them a particular sign, they would invariably believe in it. Say, not to speak of a single sign, there are indeed many signs with Allah, but what is there to assure you that when that sign comes, even then they will not believe? We shall confound their hearts and their eyes, since they did not believe in it in the first instance, and we shall leave them alone, wandering blindly in their transgression. Even if we should send down the angels to them, and the dead shall speak to them, and even if we should bring all things together face to face to them, they would not believe unless Allah had enforced his will. The thing is that most of them persist in ignorance. And in the same manner have we made the evil ones from among ordinary human beings and the jinns enemies to every prophet. Some of them suggest one to another gilded speech to beguile them. Had your Lord enforced his will, they would not have done so. So leave them alone with what they forge. And the result of their so doing is that the hearts of those who do not believe in the hereafter are inclined to it, and they take pleasure therein, and they continue committing their evil deeds as they are doing. Say, what? Shall I seek for a judge to decide between us other than Allah? when it is he who has revealed to you this perfect book clearly explained, and those to whom we have given this book 
know that it is revealed by your lord with all the requirements of truth and wisdom so be not of the disputers the prophetic word of your lord is bound to be fulfilled in truth and justice there is no one who can change his words he is the all-hearing the all-knowing should you obey the majority of those on earth they would lead you astray from allah's way they follow nothing but mere surmise and they do nothing but make conjectures surely he your lord knows the best who goes astray from his way as he knows the best the rightly guided so do not follow those who go astray and eat of that over which the name of allah has been pronounced if you are indeed believers in his messages what reason have you that you do not eat of that over which allah's name has been pronounced whilst he has already explained to you the things he has forbidden to you excepting that which you are constrained to eat out of necessity and surely many mislead others by following their own fancies due to lack of knowledge verily your lord knows best these transgressors refrain from sin in form and in spirit verily those who commit sins deliberately shall be repaid according to the deeds committed by them and do not eat of that on which allah's name has not been pronounced for it is the sure product of disobedience certainly the evil ones suggest their friends to dispute with you and if you obey them you shall invariably become polytheists. Can he who was lifeless before, and to whom we gave life and we provided for him a light whereby he moves about among the people, be like the person whose condition is as one consigned to thick darkness from whence he cannot emerge? Thus the deeds of the disbelievers are made fair-seeming to them. Similarly, have we made the leaders in every town the guilty ones with the result that they intrigue therein but little do they understand that as a matter of fact they intrigue only against themselves and when there comes to them a divine message they say we will never believe unless we ourselves are given the like of what has been given to the messengers of allah Allah knows best whom to entrust his messengership. Surely humiliation and severe and disgraceful punishment from Allah shall befall those who cut off their ties with him because of their intrigues against our prophets. But as to whom Allah intends to guide, he opens his bosom to Islam, and as to him who he allows to go astray, he makes his bosom close and constricted so that he feels as though he were climbing up to the heights. Just as Allah does this, he lays ignominy on those who do not believe. And this path is an exact right path leading to your Lord. We have indeed explained the messages of truth in detail for a people who would accept admonition. There awaits with their Lord an abode of peace and he is their patron because of their righteous deeds. Beware of the day when he will gather them all together and say, O multitude of jinn, you made a great many of the ordinary people subservient to yourselves in disobedience. And their votaries from the people will say, Our Lord, some of us benefited one from another, but at last we have reached the end of the appointed term which you determined for us. He will then say, The fire is your lodging, therein to abide unless Allah wills otherwise. Verily your Lord is all-wise, all-knowing. In the like manner do we let some of the unjust have power, one over another because of their wrongful deeds. O multitude of jinn and ordinary peoples, did there come to you no messengers from among yourselves? who related to you my messages and warned you that you would face this your day? They will say, Yes, we bear witness against ourselves. And the present life has beguiled them, and they will bear witness against themselves on that day that they were disbelievers. 
This is because your Lord destroys no township unjustly, whilst their inhabitants are unwarned. And for all are fixed at different degrees of rank in accordance with their deeds. Your Lord is not at all unaware of what they do. Your Lord is self-sufficient, Lord of mercy. If he will, he may do away with you, O disbelievers, and replace you with such others as he will, just as he evolved you from the seeds of other people. Verily that punishment which you are promised must come to pass, and you cannot frustrate his plans. Say, O my people, go on working according to the utmost of your capacities and positions. Surely I am doing my best. Soon you shall come to know for whom is the best reward of this abode. Anyhow, the wrongdoers never attain their goal. They allocate to Allah a portion out of what he has produced of the tillage and the cattle. And they say, This is for Allah according to their fancies, and this is set apart for our gods. Then what is for their associate gods never goes over to Allah, but what is set apart for Allah does often go over to their associate gods. How ill they judge! Just as their associate gods turned the polytheist away from Allah, so did they make even so monstrous a deed as the killing of their children seem fair to a large number of the polytheists, with the result that they ruin them and that they obscure for them their religion. And if Allah had enforced his will, they would not have done so, so leave them alone in that what they forge. And they say, according to their fancies, such and such cattle and tillage are secure. None shall eat them except whom we please. So they assert, there are some cattle whose backs have been forbidden for use, and some cattle over which they would not pronounce the name of Allah. They do all this forging a lie against him, that such practices are by his will. Soon he will surely punish them for the lies they have forged. They further say that the young one which is living in the womb of such and such cattle is exclusively reserved for our males and is forbidden to our spouses. But if it be stillborn, then they are all partakers of it. He will surely repay them with punishment for their false specification. Surely he is all-wise, all-knowing. Certainly they suffer a loss, those who kill their children in folly and in ignorance, and forbid themselves what Allah has provided for them, forging lies in the name of Allah. They have indeed gone astray, and they are not rightly guided. And he it is who evolved gardens, trellised and untrellised, and the date palms, and the cornfields, whose produce and fruits are of diverse kinds and tastes, and oil-producing plants, and pomegranates, similar in kind, yet dissimilar in variety. Eat of the fruit of each when it yields fruit, and render thereof his due in charity on the day of harvesting, and do not exceed the bounds. Verily he loves not those who exceed the bounds. He it is who created some of the cattle for carrying burdens, and some, like sheep and goat, are too low to carry burdens but fit for slaughter. Eat of what Allah has provided for you, and do not follow in the footsteps of Satan for he is indeed an enemy disuniting you from Allah. And of cattle slaughtered for food, he has created eight heads in four pairs, the pair of sheep, the pair of goats. Say, is it the two males he has made unlawful, or the two females? Or is it that young which the wombs of the two females contain which he has forbidden? Expound to me the case with sure knowledge if you are in the right. And he created the pair of camels and the pair of cows. Say, is it the two males that he has made unlawful, or the two females, or is it that which the wombs of the two females contain which he has forbidden? Or were you present when Allah enjoined this unlawfulness and lawfulness on you? 
who is more unjust than he who forges a lie against Allah deliberately, that he may lead the people astray without having any knowledge? Verily, Allah does not guide the unjust people. Say, I find nothing in what Allah has revealed to me that forbids the people to eat anything except it be that which dies of itself, or blood poured forth, or flesh of swine. For all this is unclean, or I find that thing forbidden what is profane, which has been sacrificed in other than Allah's name. Yet he who is constrained to eat any of them, having no desire for that, and having no intention to exceed the limit, will find that surely your Lord is great protector, ever merciful. And as for those who Judaized, we forbade them every animal having claws. We forbade them the fat of the oxen, and that of the goats, and of the sheep, except that fat which their backs or entrails bear, or which cleaves to a bone. That is how we punished them for their transgression, and we are always true to our words. And if they cry lies to you, then say to them, Your Lord is the Lord of all embracing mercy, but his punishment cannot be averted from the guilty people. Now those who associate partners with Allah say, If Allah had so willed, we would not have associated partners with him, nor would have our forefathers, nor would we have made anything unlawful of our own. Just as they deny you their predecessors cried lies to their apostles of God, until they suffered our punishment, say, Have you any knowledge about it? Then present it before us. You follow naught but mere conjectures, and you do nothing but tell lies. Say, Then with Allah is the conclusive argument. Had he enforced his will, he would have surely guided you all. Say, bring your witnesses who can testify that Allah has forbidden the thing you forbid yourselves. Then supposing they testify this, do not bear them out, nor follow the caprice of those who treat our messages as lies, and who do not believe in the hereafter, and who set up equals to their Lord. Say, come, I will rehearse to you what your Lord has made binding on you. It is that you shall associate not anything as partner with him, and that you shall be good to parents, and that you waste not your children because of poverty. It is we who make provisions for you as well as for them too. Allah has also enjoined upon you that you approach not indecencies, whether open or hidden, and that you kill no soul which Allah has made sacred except in the cause of justice. This has he enjoined you with, so that you may learn to abstain from evil. And he has enjoined you that you do not approach the property of an orphan, except in the fairest manner, until he attains his maturity, and give full measure and weight with equity. We charge no soul except to its capacity, and that when you speak, giving your verdict, Observe justice even though the person concerned be a relative of yours, and fulfill the covenant you made with Allah. That is what he enjoins upon you so that you may take heed. And the Lord says, This is my exact right path, so follow it, and follow not diverse ways, lest they should deviate you away from his straight way. That is what he enjoins you with that you may guard against evil. And behold, we gave Moses the scripture to complete our favors upon him, who did good to others and is righteous, and to explain everything worth explaining, and as a guidance and a mercy, so that the people may believe in that they will meet their Lord. And similarly, this is a glorious book, which we have revealed full of blessings, so follow it and guard against evil that you may be shown mercy. We have revealed this blessed book, lest you should say, the book has only been revealed to two communities, the Jews and the Christians before us, and as for us, we remained unaware of what those books read. 
or lest you should say had the book been revealed to us we would surely have been better guided than they now there has certainly come to you from your lord in the form of the koran a clear evidence an excellent guidance and a great mercy who then is more unjust than he who cries lies to the revelations of allah and turns away from them we will certainly award those who turn away from our revelations an awful punishment because of their having turned away do they await only that the angels should come to them with wars or that complete destruction from your lord should come upon them or that some of the signs of your lord should visit them with earthly calamities the day when some of the signs of your lord shall come no soul that did not believe earlier or accomplished some good deeds through his belief will ever benefit by his faith say wait we too are waiting verily those who have caused a split in their religion and became divided into sects you have no concern whatsoever with them their case will come before allah then he will judge it and will fully inform them of what they have been doing whosoever does good shall be repaid tenfold but he who commits evil shall be recompensed only in proportion to the evil done and they shall not be dealt with unjustly say as for me surely my lord has guided me to the exact straight path the ever true faith the creed of abraham the upright and he was not of the polytheists say surely my prayer and my sacrifice and my living and my dying are all for the sake of allah the lord of the worlds no associate partner has he and so am i ordained and i am the first of the submitting ones to allah say shall i seek a lord other than allah whilst he is the lord of all things and no soul does anything evil but only against itself no soul that bears a burden shall bear the burden of another then to your lord is your return and he will fully inform you about that truth wherein you have been disagreeing and he it is who has made you successors of others and rulers of the land and he has exalted some of you over the others in degrees of rank so that he may try you by that which he has given you surely your lord is quick at retribution and he is all the same great protector ever merciful